Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be looking at Murphy's repertory and Materia Medica in Radar Apus. So what is the USP of uh, Murphy's repertory in particular? Well, the clinical chapter is certainly one of the main aspects of the um, Murphy's repertory and we have his uh, third edition available in Radar Opus currently. There are many, many useful rubrics here. I've highlighted some of them. So when you're working um, and you want to be able to repertorize a clinical condition, um, perhaps uh, because there's a paucity of um, symptoms to repertorize in the classical way, um, then this is going to be a useful repertory for you. And um, Clark is the other clinical repertory that we have in the program. And uh, you can actually create a search area quite easily from those two repertories, which uh, I can show you to do how I can show you how to do that now. So let's add a Clark. So I type the name in the repertories list and then open, and then just take this clinical chapter and I'm going to put that into my search area. I'm just going to open the search area so you can see this is one I've already made. So I'll show you how to go about doing that. Let's move both these lines. Okay, job done. And then I'm going to drag from Clark's clinical and put the whole clinical chapter into my search area. There we are. And then I can close that. And I'm going to do the same in Murphy. So that was just a shortcut that, that I used there to return to the chapter heading. It's um, command and then the left uh, button on your direction keypad or control left on a PC. That takes you back to the beginning of the chapter. So if I scroll down a bit now, do the same. It sort of moves you up through the hierarchy of um, sort of sub rubric rubric chapter. Okay, so what we're going to do is the same, just drag the clinical chapter into the search area. Click here, save it. Give it a name, I've already saved mine in here, so you would just call it clinical area or something to that effect. And then you can close it. And then what you can do is uh, either type in the search here or open a search. I'll just type. And let's say I want to look for um, any of the itises in um, Murphy's repertory. So I put an asterisk. So that means uh, any other beginning, um, any word that ends with itis and any beginning. And by default, it's search, um, Opus is set to search in the current document only. So there we go, you see it here. And then you can see, wow, 1597 results of different conditions. scroll down to give you an impression of that. So it's very complete, lots there. And some of them are in the respective chapters as well, not just the clinical chapter. But let's say I wanted to make a search of now a particular remedy, let's say Laxis for sake of argument, and up here where it says A to Z, I can change that now to the current search area. And it's going to look in Clark and Murphy. And then let's say I wanted to just look at the confirmed, you know, the more clinically confirmed symptoms. Let's remove the first degree, that's plain type. And let's move, remove second degree, that's italic. Let's do that too. Then redo the search. You see Clark disappears, but Murphy's left. Then we can see, um, you know, very nice, clear indications of where lacassis can be used in clinic. And we get an impression of the range that it has and of, you know, the syphilitic miasm with blood poisoning and gangrene, you know. Okay, so that's a useful tip on how to use the search area and how to 
look at remedies through Murphy's clinical chapter by limiting to only bold and underlined symptoms and just looking in the clinical chapter. So that's one very useful aspect of his repertory, the clinical chapter. I'll show you some bookmarks I've made here to give you an impression. So we've got, he's got a rubric for bipolar disorder. So we see lithium carb, medarinum, carcinosin, lachesis, staphysagria, all in bold type. And then also some, some sub rubrics here. So when it's accompanying hormonal problems, we've got lachesis and lithium to grinum, or with suicidal depression, aurum. In alcoholics, we see alcoholus, hyosamus, and lachesis with epilepsy, calibramatum. Let's see what else. Chronic fatigue he has. And this is just a small selection. It's a very big, complete chapter. So the main rubric here, followed by the sub rubrics, which give us some more particular indications. So nice modality there. Exertion aggravates. Or a uh, etiology here. Caliphos, definitely, in my experience, a good remedy for s exhausted states. And they're alternating with activity, an interesting one. Two nosodes in bold type. And aurum, very driven to work. Back up to my bookmarks then and see what else we have. So, interesting one for today's practice becoming more common. Carcinosin, that one thing to make order, a uh, very big part of the remedy and that miasm but also anhelonium, folliculinum, mancinella and then also rituals so that's just a little you know very brief introduction to Murphy's clinical chapter there are other sort of unique things that you can do with Murphy let me just show you the overall structure so if I click on the navigation tool here, you can see just how many chapters there are. And that's quite useful in itself. I mean, they're uh, arranged alphabetically for a start, um, which is nice. It's in that nice, clear, simple structure. And you've got specific chapters for, say, toxicity, um, you know, for, for the gallbladder, for glands, for the different um, organs, lungs and liver and heart. You've got a clinical chapter, which we've been looking at, also a constitutional chapter. So if you click, you go into, you see all of the rubrics. Then if I go into one, I'll see the sub rubrics. This is also a very useful uh, rubric for when people always seem to respond to any remedy with aggravations. 